Hello and welcome to a small video on tips and tricks in Imperium Galactic Survival. Um, a video I actually did before, uh, but learn, learning by experience, I wanted to not post it uh, until I s saw what came in the 1.5, which have just landed in the experimental branch, and I've tried it, and sure enough, I need to remake the video. So that's what I'm doing. Some things have changed. Uh, and others still persist. Many of my tips and tricks was based on the fact that um, a lot of stuff was not, but the, a lot of stuff you could do, you weren't told. Uh, so you had to find that out, you know, bit by bit. But many of those things has actually been incorporated in the, um, in the tutorials. So, Please take that if you're a first time gamer or even though if you're a returning gamer, please take it because it, it'll tell you some things and it's quite neat and show you a lot of stuff. Now, one thing has not changed and that is um, here in the uh, difficulty settings on the loading screen. There are a lot of stuff that you can change um, and all of them will change the the difficulty of the game or some options like mass and CPU points. But one thing that I'll tend to do always is that I want to keep the toolbar items only. It, normally it's set to nothing. Uh, but I'll usually set it to toolbar items only because that act is actually very good in preventing me from ending up in a infinite death loop where you get killed and to get your stuff in your backpack you spawn nearby and get killed again especially in space where the distance from your backpack is bigger than on the ground so that's a one trick the first tip is um, when you collect plant protein these are perishables and uh, I think that the 23 is minutes in-game minutes, and um, if you want to save these, make them when you get along, um, and keep them here in the output box, because staying here, there's no perish time. It says 90, but as long as they stay in here, they won't perish. Next tip is plant fibers or cutting down trees usually in the old times you would use the survival mode defense mode in uh, the survival tool but if you use the resource mode here you get uh, plant fibers from it if you take the small uh, if you take the small trees here if you take the bigger trees you get logs so that's the second tip. Another tip is that every wreck has somewhere on it or underground a cargo box. Um, and related tip to that is that weapons and tools in, in uh, cargo boxes come preloaded. So you don't need ammunition for it. So you can simply use them until they are done. Um, and then it's a, just a worthless piece of junk. But when you get these, you can take them. The next tip is um, it's a well-known trick. And uh, it is that once you get to the point where your inventory is filled up, if you're running with CPU and mass restrictions that is that if you put down one of these it's got infinite storage there's no storage capacity limits on this one um, and if you get too many things uh, too many uh, uh, plates or components um, then you can go to the uh, um, the spawn menu or factory 
as it's called. And there you can find your uh, um, your vehicle of choice. Uh, send that to factory, and then you can deposit your uh, stuff in here. The good thing is that if you say ah, I didn't want that one, I want it. Uh, uh, I want that one. Put that to factory. The materials you already dumped in here still remains here and can be used to other ones. And that can actually be used later on in the game where you get too much stuff and you don't know what to do with it. Uh, and you have put all the iron or whatever uh, into the, the vehicle that you wanted, but you're still getting too much. Then you can do that as you can use what I would call a, a, a black hole. There are... Um, there are uh, blueprints out there oh, that are made specifically for dumping stuff. Um, I use the one called factory wafer, um, factory food. Um, and I can dump everything in here um, and use it. Just change the blueprint later and I can use whatever I put in here. So that's kind of an infinite storage capacity too. Now, the other tips I have are more like recommendations, more than tips for surviving. Um, some of them are more, um, they're more relevant in this new game where I used to stay inside the crash site because it's relatively safe. Uh, emphasis on, on relative um, now. Because the critters are invading your space now. So before you, you get to level 3, I think, and can make a shotgun, um, I wouldn't go around looting the wreckages that are around here um, until I got a weapon that was actually working. Um, so I will wait until I have a shotgun. I will stay inside the immediate landing area, uh, go around collecting materials um, and uh, ramping up experience points and uh, get to making a shotgun as the very least before you venture out uh, to take off the, um, the regular alliance around here, like that one, for instance. Maybe that one is okay, but some of them are scattered uh, at the edge of uh, the crash site, and even when they're inside the crash site, uh, critters or leaf cutters or bastards, as I used to call them, can come and get you. Others are on the other side of the crash site area, so you have to enter out in a grove or deep forest and get attacked by creatures out there. Um, my other, uh, and, and that's the reason why I used the factory uh, before, is in the earlier games you could find the large uh, wreckage somewhere inside the crash area and you can find the hubble vessel there. You can't anymore. But my, my uh, advantage or, or my um, not advantage my advice will still be to get mobile as fast as possible. Um, so I would like to spawn in a vessel or um, when I find uh, the large uh, rack, rackets that are here, um, there will be a, a motorcycle kit there so that I can make myself a motorcycle and go around that way. But I will get in an SV or an HV as fast as possible with the cockpit, which is another tip. Put a cockpit on it. <laughs> Put a ring on it. Put a cockpit on it because that will help you for temperatures on the hotter or colder planets, plus it will protect you against radiated fox that come in and kill you if you don't have any place to hide. Digging a hole in the ground won't help you. And 
My advice would actually be to follow the missions, because that will make you friends with um, talents uh, pretty quickly, and then you will be able to kind of use the um, use the uh, deposits that are here um, without penalty, uh, because as you can see here. Um, oh, where was it? I'm not in. Yo, I am inside town territory. Um, running around mining. Oh, I did just before. Ah, huh. well, I, I am in town territory now, and what I, I noticed was that uh, I did lose I did lose credibility or or talent points by running around here um, I need to find out where that starts and stops but other than that stay in the immediate area collect points get a gun then you're going to go um, yeah I guess that's about it I haven't gotten so far into you that I can say that uh, my last advice that a higher uh, risk gives higher loot. Um, those are talents. Yeah, let's see what they do. Right. I discovered the faction. Cool. Now, will they take offense to me? Nope. Hmm. I knew there was something. Listen up here. I take this and look up here. I'm losing nine talent points. Um, another thing is that if I drill this alien flower here, I get plant fibers and XP points, but I will also uh, lose talent points. Uh, no, that's not what I want. This one. Again, losing talent points. Hmm. What? Well, whatever. Um, so you have to be worried about that. So take the missions so you can get friendly with them. My last, uh, my last tip is. Before, when the survival tent, which is also working as a uh, uh, respawn point, um, is that you could only sleep in it at night. That is no longer true. You can sleep in it any day, eight time, eight hours apiece. So you can set your uh, uh, constructor to. Uh, to be doing something about mining or refining ore into ingots and then you can sleep eight hours and pick it up ah, middle of the night let's just sleep more eight more hours right now it's day so i think that'll conclude my rather uh haphazardly uh, put together video of my tips and tricks I have plans uh, to make another um, another uh, video about um, about what the kind of keyboard commands that you can use in here. Um, so look out for that. Look at that, critters, and I'm in the crest site. Well. Bastards. Let's see how well. Because they will attack you now. They are part of the new, um, the new uh, AI, which actually gives critters the ability to attack you. Come on. Now, of course, they won't. And they are fast. And they will stun you, and then they'll. Eat your face. And 
there. And there he is, son of a bitch. Now that was a video on tips and tricks in surviving um, in Galactic Imperium survival. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, that you can use some of the tricks. But I'm Nook. Thank you for watching and see you later.